I'm on the side of parliament. Okay, what is that? What's, what's parliament side? Because the president has no reason to ask that parliament should not submit the bill. Because the cases that are in court, the last time I checked, there is no application for injunction or any actual injunction granted that prevents the president from receiving the bill. The only application for injunction that I have seen is to block the president from signing the bill. Yes. Receiving and signing are different things. So if you don't want to receive the bill, you don't blame anybody who has gone to court because the relief is being sought in court. Do not bother on you not receiving. They say, don't work on it. But the, for the office receiving it, it is a matter of impunity that is being shown by the president to frustrate the work of parliament. Why? He cites because parliament has done their work up to a point, and they say, transmit this to the presidency. You don't have a right not to receive. You can receive it. After receiving, you have options that have been provided under the constitution. And somebody is in court uh, trying to injunct you from acting on the bill. That injunction does not say that don't receive the bill. So for you to write to parliament that because I'm on some injunction not to sign it, so don't bring it at all. It means you have a premeditated agenda. You don't want to uh, receive it or work on it or do anything with it. But you are not man enough to tell Ghanaians that I don't want to do this. You, you think this is just an excuse not to sign the bill? Sure, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's uh, clearly an excuse. But, but, but it's a fact. It's a wrong excuse because, you know, <laughs> he was citing the court case even before anybody could file it. It tells you that he orchestrated the filing. The president orchestrated the filing? Yes, because he was citing that case that there's a case in oh. court, somebody has gone to That's court. That's true. But, yes. but, but what you suggest... But the, as at the time he you, was you, talking to you, the you're, you're, question, you're questioning the... Nobody was... You're questioning court. the independent-mindedness of the individuals who have been in court, who have taken this matter to court. The yes. president's decision to reference them doesn't mean that he had anything to do with it. No, but I'm saying that as at the time the president was speaking, nobody had gone to that, court. That is, that so is the either fact. Either the president... He simply may have known about the intention to file. Ah, so if there is somebody's intention to file and he has not filed yet, how do you restrain yourself? So it means that you don't want to do something, but you want an excuse to cite not to do it. Because if you have heard that somebody is going to court, the person has not gone to court yet, and yet you are injuncting yourself. <laughs> it means that you are part of an orchestration uh, to go to court in the first place. So I don't trust in the independent mindedness of whoever filed that, that case. But that is a serious point to make, considering that these are private individuals who have just taken their independent And decisions. this is my view. I'm entitled to my view. And my, but, but you're questioning uh, their integrity here. You're questioning their integrity, that you don't trust in their independent mindedness to, to, to proceed with their own independent belief that this should be stopped. Yes, that is what I'm questioning. Yeah, but th that is unfair to these individuals. It is not unfair. Who doesn't know uh, uh, this man? What is his name? Yeah, <laughs> the city Richard Sky, guy. yes. Richard Sky. Richard Sky works in the chamber of the Attorney General. Well, those Richie are Sky was, evidence. Richard Sky was sponsored to, to do his I, I don't law have, course. I don't have any evidence. Government. I, I have I that have evidence. Any, I, I don't. I have that evidence. I, I and don't the man have that has returned and he's working with uh, this man. Is working with a majority leader. Yeah, but, but the fact that... And, the fact and that so the person there. goes to court, and before he went to court, yeah. the president was already citing that court case when it has not been filed at all. I mean, that's but, 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 yeah, evidence. Circumstantial doesn't make, make it evidence. You that know is this. my belief. So yeah. you can believe something else, okay? We don't attend the same church. You believe in your church, I believe in mine. I'm saying that this is my belief. Mm. <laughs> and the, so allow viewers and listeners to pass their own judgment. Well, on that point, though, subsequent, the case is in court. Mm -hmm. If the case is in court, there are different schools of thought on the matter. And the I'm saying that the case in court... Doesn't ask for an injunction. It's not an injunction. No, no, listen. 
That's the an relief, exempt you from receiving. The, yes. The relief being sought is for the president not to sign the bill. As far as I can recollect, the document I have seen, there is nothing seeking a relief that will block the president from mm. receiving. Yeah, you, 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 you made that point. In fact, I read the speaker's point, who also re emphasized the point yes. you just made. Let me ask you. So, if I, you are injuncting yourself for not receiving, because when we talk about the presidency, it's not one person carrying an office around. Mm. There is a presidency. The letter, you can't block the letter. It's like somebody sues you in court. And then you assume that, well, because I'm innocent, I'm not receiving the process. Mm. You, the you, president is running away from justice. If you... <laughs> you, 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 are, you, you, are, you are on the parliamentary service, but what should parliament do about this? Well, I am happy that the parliament is insisting on its sovereignty. Because the constitution, in every uh, well-functioning democracy... The three arms of government are allowed their independence to operate and they are supreme in their own area. Mm. So if you allow one to overreach its bounds, you are undermining democracy. And uh, you have the legislature, which has sovereignty over passage of laws. You have the executive that has sovereignty over implementation of policy, uh, controlling co the coercive forces of state, and all that. And then you have the judiciary that has the power to, you know, adjudicate. To adjudicate laws and administer uh -huh. the laws on their behalf. So the moment the executive makes any attempt to adjudicate on matters, mm -hmm. it means they are entering the the realm of the judiciary, which is non-democratic. The moment the executive tries to stifle the power of uh, the, the, the legislature in the passage of laws, as this current president is trying to do, it amounts to undermining of our democracy. So that's where we sit now. The debate has closed, mm. at least our representatives, whether we like it or not, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what our individual beliefs about LGBT. The debate has closed. All our representatives, 100%, have all voted to pass this bill. So the president can only assent to it or refuse to assent to it and give reasons and bring it back. Mm and then parliament will reconsider. Where the parliament still insists that the bill must go through, it must overpower the veto of the president. That, is where, majority. that is where the sovereignty of parliament in the passage of legislation is exhibited. So where we are now, if parliament allows the president to have his way, that weakens parliament and, 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 and it will... It will serve as a very bad president, mm. that the president has taken over the authority to pass laws. Mm. Let, let me Parliament, ask you, and I don't the, think it is the attorney general recently said that the NDC sponsors of the bill did so for partisan political reasons. Is he right? But I thought that one of the key sponsors is an MPP guy. That's true. And so why is he saying that NDC sponsors? And you see, this takes us back to the issue about the propriety of the Attorney General being a Minister of Justice. Now that's an old overflow. Yes, that is all, because all these happenings point to that fact. The Attorney General is behaving purely as a partisan person and not an officer of state who should be interested in prosecution. I doubt... The, the, the intentions of an, uh, of an attorney general who in the face of Supreme Court rulings, not once, not twice, several occasions, to the effect that nobody can injunct 
a constitutional body from undertaking its constitutional duties whilst they are in the process. There are several settled cases about electoral commission, people trying to uh, injunct electoral commission halfway through elections. The Supreme Court has thrown all those cases away and has maintained that they can only mm. uh, review the product of the elections mm -hmm. and decide whether to uphold the results or to quash the results. In the case of legislation, the Supreme Court has ruled before that you can't stop Parliament in the process of passing law. They can only take the law that has been passed completely and take a decision whether it is constitutional. Yeah. But the Attorney General hasn't said that Parliament cannot pass a law. Parliament has done so. No, Parliament, we are still in the process. It has yeah. not been completed. Yeah, but the President's domain is whether to no, sign or not to is, sign. I, so if the President refuses to sign, Parliament has some residual work to do uh, to uh, make the bill complete. Uh, away from the controversy around to sign or not to sign, let me ask you, the anti-gay bill, I've, I've, heard, I've done a show here today, uh, this year, where the Catholic Bishops Conference has said, look, if it's not passed, there's going to be political consequences. I need to ask you, we had an election here. Will the NDC make this anti-gay bill, its passage or otherwise, an issue for the campaign this year? Where we are now, it is not an issue about NDC or MPP. The controversy now is about undermining the presidency, undermining the sovereignty of parliament as far as legislation is concerned. Mm. The debate about LGBT has been close. Whether we like it or not, our elected representatives across the country, not a single MP, stood against it. Mm. Our elected representatives have concluded the debate. Mm. So...